Mr. Mark, uh, uh, first question is uh, why this meeting today in the European Parliament about uh, uh, Jewish communities in Judea and Samaria? Well, when I was elected member of the European Parliament back in 2014, I didn't know that I would establish this group of friends of Judea and Samaria. But after my first visit in Israel and in the region of Shomron, I found some facts. The fact that the EU is imposing tariffs on Jewish goods, while it is not imposing tariffs on Palestinian goods, I found that European taxpayers' money is used for Palestinian authority and is often misused for supporting terrorist attacks. So I decided, together with Yossi Dagan, to do something with this. So we decided to establish a group of friends of Judea and Samaria here in the European Parliament. And the purpose of this group is to uh, pressure the European Commission to stop funding Palestinian terrorists, to stop imposing tariffs on Jewish goods, and therefore we decided to inform members of the European Parliament and this event, this conference, is part of this effort. But the European Union uh, always repeats that uh, settlements in the West Bank, in Judea, Samaria, are the main obstacle to peace. What do you answer to this? Well, I think that the European Union should accept the reality. And the reality is that in this area, Judea and Samaria, or the West Bank as some people prefer to call it, there are both Palestinians and Jews. They are living there, they have their families there, they have their jobs there, and that's the reality, that both communities live there. And this should be accepted. And I believe that peace can be established only upon both communities, Jews and Palestinians, negotiate and work together. That peace cannot be established from above. Thank you so much.